Hi, I'm Edwina Wilson, the host of Kelly's Corner Radio Talk Show. We are here live at the Capitol Fourth PBS, and we have some awesome, wonderful Olympians, Paralympians here, and we're going to share some awesome, phenomenal stories and testimonies of journeys of these wonderful ladies. So first we have Gail Gang, and we have Megan Blunk, uh, Becca Hart. Are y'all ready? I don't know if y'all ready for this. Okay, so we're going to start with Gail. Gail, can you please share with our listeners uh, what motivated you to want to join the Paralympians? And uh, how are you enjoying your day thus far? Are you excited? Are you ready for what's to take place tomorrow? And then we're going to get to the journey. How about that? All right. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I um, grew up in a big sports family. I've always loved uh, basketball. I figured out, I found wheelchair basketball when I was in seventh grade. And I think what motivates me is um, my family and my loved ones. Um, and I'm super excited for today. Um, I can't wait, or for tomorrow. I'm super excited, and I can't wait to see all the awesome acts. Me either. I can't wait. I'm excited, too. Thank you so much. We're going to come back to you. Same with you. So my name is Megan Blunk, and um, I was in a motorcycle accident when I was 18, and I broke my back and became paralyzed. And what motivated me was, the regret I felt for not having taken advantage of, you know, all the opportunities I had before my accident, the opportunity to play a sport again. I didn't want to ever feel that regret again, so I took it and went with it. That's awesome. That's not giving up and continue to pursue in spite of. We love that. Um, so I'm a paraquestrian, and what I loved about it, I have a condition called familial spastic paraplegia, which is a progressive condition and slowly kind of takes away the use of your legs. And what kind of brought me to horseback riding was the freedom that I felt from okay. that. It kind of let me escape that disability, and I, it became addicting, and I loved it, and I was super competitive by nature, so it just kind of fell into place. Horseback riding, awesome, motorcycle, uh, basketball. Come on now, y'all. If you can't be motivated and encouraged by these three beautiful ladies' stories, I don't know what else to tell you. So we're going to just go to their journey and let them just share a little bit about their journey and how, you know, they continue to press on in spite of. Well, I was born with a nerve damage um, in the lower half of my body, and um, I wear long leg braces to get around. Um, there are a lot of people with my disability um, that are in wheelchairs. Uh, full time, but uh, I was able to kind of get through it and work hard and I'm able to walk around and be an independent woman, so can't ask for anything better than that. That's what I'm talking about. You know, because it's a, we, we don't take life for granted, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to take life for granted because it could be worse, you know what I'm saying? But it's not. So we appreciate, you know, young ladies like you come out and share your stories and testimonies, but continue to do what you do because the love of basketball, the love of sports, that's awesome because you're not letting your ability, disability, different ability, I like different ability, define who you are or define your condition. And that's a wonderful thing. We, we hope to inspire someone that's listening today to continue on in spite of, and if you don't have a different ability, then you should have no excuse. Exactly. I, exactly. I think you hit it spot on. Do you want to leave a motivate a word of motivation or encouragement for our listener? Uh, I think it's just important to know that um, if you're having a bad time or going through a tough time, that um, there's the light at the end of the tunnel for sure. All right. Well, there you go. Now we have another beautiful young lady. She's going to share her journey and testimony, and then she's going to leave us a word of motivation for you all. Uh, so like I said, I was in the motorcycle accident, and it was the regret that pushed me, but it was also... Um, I've had depression my whole life, and it became worse after my accident. And when it became like that, and I thought, you know, I couldn't do anything anymore because I was told that I wasn't going to be able to, and I didn't know about any of these opportunities, um, I just, I couldn't live feeling that way, um, not wanting to live, like, you know, every day. And I was alive, so I needed to find a way to be able to enjoy my life, and so I pushed myself and I, you know, I made a, I made a better life, and I'm happy now, happier than I ever would have been before the accident. Um, and so I appreciate every second and step of this journey. It's been amazing. How important would you feel support is? Oh my gosh, support is everything. Because with the depression, um, you, 
I, you know, couldn't have cared less about myself. That's just how I felt. I didn't care about anything. But knowing that what I was doing was helping others and hearing people every day tell me that, you know, I'm, you know, I, I've motivated them or, you know, I've helped them in one way or another, it, it pushed me every day. And that's what kept me going until, you know, I found it for myself. But it started with other people. That's wonderful. So are you excited about tomorrow? Oh, I'm, I'm excited about today, right now. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's not go to tomorrow. Let's talk about right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Would you like to, uh, can you please leave a mo word of motivation? Oh, man, that's so tough. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, just like Gail, it's my favorite quote is just, it's always the darkest before the sun rises. So it's very true. It's right when it seems the hardest and you don't think it's going to get better. If you just keep pushing, like, it's amazing, and it will blow your mind when it gets better, and that's the best part about it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> um, so for me, like I said, I have familial spastic paraplegia, which is a progressive condition, and my motivation is basically the doctors told me that I wouldn't be able to walk at all, um, and I wanted to prove them wrong, okay. and that kind of, that thought gave me the strength and the fight to kind of push by and basically prove them wrong. Okay. Um, so because of that, I've been able to continue on this journey with the horses and become competitive. And, you know, to anyone that's out there being told they can't do something, I think you just got to adapt and overcome. I mean, that's, that's my word to them because there's so much out there opportunity. You just got to seize it. You get one life, one moment, go out and live it. Adapt and overcome. Did y'all hear that? I love that. And you're not letting your uh, a different ability define you either. And that's phenomenal. And that's what I like to share with people, not to allow your different ability to define who you are, take over your life, you know, because there's so much more. If God gave us an opportunity to carry on and we're still here, why not? And it is a motivation for other people. I love it. Did you leave a word of motivation. I was going to say, I think that that is mine, the adapt and overcome. You adapt just, and overcome. I, yeah. See, I pointed, I pointed that out. I love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all's time. I can't wait to see you all in action and doing what you're doing. Um, I'm going to look for y'all. I'm going to connect because I want to continue to follow you all and, and just learn your journey, see what all you're doing. I, oh, as I was telling y'all, Kelly's Corner come from my daughter. I have a daughter. Her name is Kelly. Uh, she's 30 years old now. She has cerebral palsy and other different abilities. Uh, so I, my, my journey of raising Kelly for the past 30-something years, all of this came through a dream. And I know God gave it to me because it has to be somebody out there, no matter how many people. But if he chose me to be that person that could go around and encourage other, pick other individuals, that has gone through something, is going through something, whether they were born with it or by accident, to continue to motivate, educate, and encourage the, uh, the listeners and the audience. And I, I'm just so excited about Kelly. Kelly's a very happy young lady. She's full of joy. She teach me things. You know what I'm saying? She teach me by her encouragement, by her push and her motivation to want to continue on. She wants to do so much, even though she's limited in certain things. But it don't stop her because if she can try, and we always give her opportunities to try anything. We never tell her no. If it's going to hurt or harm her, we won't let her do it. But we got to find the best way possible to let her know that this particular thing is not for you. So, yes, Team USA, she loves it. So we're excited. Again, we thank you. Um, I'm going to make sure Kelly see you all. I make sure she see you all, and, and you know she'll be cheering y'all on, laughing and smiling. Y'all will see you. Know, you all will see her one day. I'm gonna make sure of that. Well, thank you so much. I am Edwina Wilson, the host of Kelly's Corner Radio Talk Show. Again, we are here live at Capital Four PBS. Y'all be blessed. You never know where you're gonna find Kelly's Corner Radio Talk Show. All right, y'all will tell her about our listeners by and our viewers by. All right.